everybody so back in the game being back from holiday now for about three days i think straight back into work the next day on the way home from um jersey we got the um ferry back and stopped at pool is the way that we came back and then what we did because we got back right at rush hour we stopped and went into bournemouth had dinner there kind of came back later from there so by the time we got home it was like 11 p.m and then i had to be up the next morning straight back into work um and straight back in the deep end after being away for a week lots to catch up on lots of clients to fit in um so it's been pretty manic straight away off of being back so i wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about getting back into the swing of things, getting back into the swing of things with your diet, getting back into the swing of things with your exercise after you've been on holiday. Because for a lot of people, going away might have been your main motivation for exercising and dieting and trying to lose weight in the first place. So what often happens is people come back and then they lose that motivation and then kind of fall back into old habits. And all of the work that maybe they did before they went away gets completely undone. <clears throat> And for example, like I've come back straight back into being really busy at work. The last thing I've really wanted to do is kind of dive back into exercise. I've been tired because of sort of getting back in late and then having to be up super early the next day, having a really long day that day, getting to bed late again and sort of trying to catch up. So even though I had a week away, I already feel like I need another holiday. Um, but less about that and it's just lacking that kind of motivation to want to get back into exercise i have worked out twice since being back um yesterday i did a workout but that was purely because i had a cancellation um so i thought i've got an hour spare in between clients so i'll do a little workout bit annoying because i didn't bring my spare clothes with me so i didn't want to get too sweaty because i would have had to have worn those clothes for my next couple of clients um, but I wasn't, I was like, I'm in an iron whether I could really be bothered. And the same today, just finished work for the day today. I trained before my last client and I got here and I was like, oh, I really cannot be asked. This is like the last thing that I want to do. But I did it and I got sort of, you know, 10, 15 minutes into the workout and then started really getting into it, found my energy that like I was lacking. And now I'm happy that I've done it. And I'm happy that I push myself to do those two workouts because now I know that it's going to get me back into the swing of things. It's the weekend again now, um, working again tomorrow, probably not going to train over the weekend. I don't think I'm going to be able to squeeze it in. But then starting next week, I'm going to be back into the rhythm of things. Um, hopefully we'll have had a bit more sleep under my belt. And the same goes for diet. And if you've kind of really overindulge and enjoy yourself on holiday then that's brilliant because that's what it's for but trying to kind of get back to a good eating habit can be pretty tough after being away but you need to give yourself a little bit of slack you know my food hasn't been that great since being back because again thrown straight into work being tired and when i'm like that i get a bit lazy with my cooking and my food and i'll just reach for things that i shouldn't be but you just need to kind of go back to the drawing board and, and try and get rid of all of the snacks and everything in your house that are going to be there for temptation and then just kind of think about one meal at a time get yourself back to tracking calories if that's what you're doing just get that one day behind you counting calories and then before you know it you'll be back into it sorry if you hear any noise in the background someone's just starting up a motorbike um, got the shut doors open at the gym today because it's a beautiful beautiful day um, so it's just, yeah, get that one day of tracking behind you, just like with the workout, get that one workout in, get that one day of counting calories behind you, just force yourself to do it, and then you're gonna get back into that rhythm of things, or get that one good meal behind you, and then you'll slowly get back into it. Or just go back to the beginning, go back to the drawing board, and, you know, like I said, eliminate certain things again, you know, maybe cut the snacks out, take, clear out your food or do a food shop this is an incredibly important thing when you get home do an online food shop get all the food delivered into your house 
as soon as you can so that then you've got access to the good food and to be able to make yourself decent meals etc instead of kind of longing that process out and then kind of going to the supermarket grabbing something risking the chance of grabbing a, a snack or buying other things for the house that you don't necessarily need so I wanted to address that because I know that that is definitely something that people suffer with is trying to get back into it after being away and I myself I'm guilty of that and I have been guilty of that over these past couple of days but like I said I've forced myself to do the workouts and my eating is definitely better when we're on holiday Jersey do amazing chocolate and they make do amazing Jersey fudge um, and you know we ate burgers pizzas just kind of ate whatever I fancied whenever wherever we went so by the time I got back I'm kind of had enough of eating the sweets and the chocolate and I want to get back to eating a bit healthier. Um, so from that point of view, sometimes it's a bit easier because I just want to get back into it. Um, so I wanted to give you guys some tips with that. I hope that helps. And just finished a workout from the Dad Bod program, did a lower body workout. It was tough. I, Halfway through doing those workouts, I kind of think to myself, why am I putting myself through this? Why have I programmed this? But afterwards, it's the idea is, like I said before, it's get in, work hard, get out. Three workouts a week, you know, upper, lower body, and a full body workout. And it's to just maximize the time. So that was a tough workout, but like I said, I'm glad I've done it. I feel so much better now. And now my day's finished, the sun is out. And I'm going to go home and relax before I have to come back in tomorrow morning.